Thanks to Yosha on Instagram, we now have detailed shots of Antis USA pack for the Paris 2024 Olympics, and I love what I'm seeing. I'm not sure if USA's 3x3 three three basketball team will feel the same because they've been wearing these shoes except the KT10 and they've been eliminated. I previously posted a video about the shoes, but with these better shots, here's what I think. So stick around and let's talk. Welcome back, this is Fresh Bear, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. First on the list is the Anta Shockwave 6 Pro. The upper uses a dark blue color scheme consisting of what could be engineered woven fabric, which is what I love about this shoe. The Shockwave logo, which can be found at the heel and the tongue, is second as it is stitched and not just your usual TPU film or panel. The debossed stars at the heel is also a nice touch which I like because it adds visual depth to the design and you don't see that too often these days. It would have been nice though to see a white colorway for this shoe's USA theme. Second on the list is the Antikai one. Unlike the Shockwave 6 Pro, the shoe has both dark and light colorways, but I personally like the dark one. The solid rubber outsole has multi colors at the front and a red at the back section. While both colorways have the same strap colors and design, the strap blends well in the dark colorway. Plus, the lateral profile looks better in terms of color blocking. But the white one isn't too shabby. The shoe has a semi-translucent white outsole with red and blue speckles. The dark blue heel tab gives a good contrast to the white upper along with the dark blue tongue as well as the gradient midsole frame that also adds some visual weight at the bottom. Like the Kai 1, the Antic Kai 1 Speed also has a dark and light color variant. And just like the Kai 1, I personally like the darker themed shoe. The streaks of red and white on the upper simply go well with the dark blue base along with the tribal toe design. But unlike the Kai 1, the Kai 1 Speed had it reversed for the outsole. The dark colorway has semi-translucent white while the light one has semi-translucent blue. And for the light colorway, the color contrast might be there, but it feels like the colors don't pop out hard enough. I think a bit more of red would have made this shoe a whole lot better, but that's just me. And finally, my personal favorite among the bunch, the Anza KT10, Clay Thompson's upcoming 10th signature shoe. This shoe has a simple Americana feel to it that looks dignified in a way, and I love the tongue patches. You have the white stars on the right and the red and blue stripes on the left. The midsole frame gives off a classy contrast with the white upper through that dark blue to red fade. There's not too much going on with the shoe in terms of colors, and I like it just that. USA's 3x3 three three basketball team may have already been eliminated from contention in the Paris 2024 Olympics, and they're all wearing Anta's USA pack except the KT10, but it's not yet over for Anta. Again, bad publicity is still publicity we could see pairs eventually release in the US and this could potentially be a US exclusive. If I was there, I'd secure myself a pair of the KT-10. In the meantime, let me know what you think about the Anta USA pack. Which one is your favorite and are you planning to grab a pair? Post your thoughts in the comment section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs.